Good to be with you again today. Listen, I have been sent many times in my life, one of which was to the hospital. I had a wreck on our go-kart and it required me getting stitches right there. And that one, that experience did not fall on the fun side of the ledger of being sent. And if you're like me, you've had experiences that were totally fun, being sent to the candy store, right? Total fun. But then there are those that were good for you, good for me, yet difficult. Well, this idea reminds me of a group of 10 lepers wanting healed. If you were a leper, I would suggest you'd want to be healed too, right? Yes, absolutely. So what did they do? So they cried out to Jesus and he responded, go and show yourself to the priests. Well, that seems like an odd response in the midst of being able to look down and see that they hadn't been healed yet. Be sent to a priest? Wouldn't it just result in being declared unclean again? (laughs) Absolutely. Well, I'm sure that they had to pause and think about that. Just maybe, just maybe he is sending us to be declared clean. Well, the text goes on to say that as the 10 men were going, they were healed. Wow, it happened. It wasn't just a weird or uncaring demand that Jesus put on them that they go to the priest, but I think it presents a lesson for all of us. That lesson is this, that if Jesus sends you, it's for a purpose. Often, it is for us to learn to trust him and thank him for his provisions along life's path. Well, Luke 17, 15, when one of them saw that he had been healed, he went back to Jesus, praising God in a loud voice. Then he bowed at Jesus' feet and thanked him. This guy right here. Then Jesus said to him, stand up and go on your way. You were healed because you believed. Stand up, which means be moral. Be strong. Get on your way, which means get back to doing life. But how? You are healed because you believed. Do life from a place of healing and belief. Let all of your life show your life, your love, your belief, your faith in me. You see, Jesus embraced this grateful heart and sent this man to go out to touch the lives of his friends and his family. What a story to remember. I think it challenges us. Let's be a grateful person. Let's be a person who trusts God along our path. Let us be a people who praise him for the transformation in our lives because of how he has deposited himself into us. And let us be a sent people, sent to bless someone this day. God bless you as you receive God's presence in your life today, and as you let it flow from your life into the life of another.